Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to Grand Factories using all V2 fight styles in Blast Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. With the actor slam, oh, they're yes. dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Okay, so here are the list of all two V2 fight styles: Death Step, Sharkman Karate, Dragon Talon, Electric Claw, and God Human. So to help me decide on what fight style are we going to use first, I prepared the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Okay, so first up, we are going to use the Electric Claw. Okay, guys, so are you ready? Let's go. First up, you can unlock this fight style on the third C. And here are the requirements. You need 400 Master on the Electric Claw, and you need to do a quest. Okay, for the quest, it is located in the Floating Turtle, and you need to head to the mansion for 30 seconds. You can buy it for 3 million bellies and 5,000 fragments, okay? Just a reminder, we're going to defeat factories with 600 mastery on all fight styles. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the M1 or left click of this fight style. The damage is 1654 and every time you use it, you will launch forward, which is not really good. I suggest you use your shift lock to aim properly and use it on top of the core, okay? There you go. So damage is quite good. Now let's talk about the skills. So it has three skills and the total damage of all the skills combined, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. So first is C skill, X skill, and Z skill. For a total of 9,998, what if we hold the skills? Is there an increase in damage? You're going to find out. X, Z, and... No! No! My mistake guys, one more time. The question is, will the damage increase if you hold the skills properly? There you go guys, 10,156. So my question for everyone, is Electric Claw a really good fight style? Please comment it in the comment section and what is the reason why? Oh, for our fruit, we got the spike fruit. Moving on to our next fight style, there you go, another spin, the wheel. Okay, next up. Uh, the Sharkman Karate. <laughs> we almost got the death step. So you can unlock this fight style in the second C. Let's head to the Forgotten Island. And here are the requirements. You need to get the, what do you call this? The water key from Tidekeeper. Give it to Digrock. And you need to pay him 2.5 million and 5,000 fragments. Okay, so let's check this fight style out. For the M1 left click, the initial damage is the same with the Electric Claw. But even with continuous clicks, you will stay in one place, which is really good, right? So you can just use auto clicker. There you go, guys. Check that damage. I think we will reach 85,000. Wow, that's a lot. How about the skills, Gamer Gnome? It has three skills. So let's check the total damage. Z skill first. X skill is next. C skill. Boom. 9,426. I suggest you don't use the Z skill. Because it will launch you forward, it's a waste of time. But just using M1 is better compared to the Electric Claw. Why? Because again, you will stay in one place. Okay, so let's finish this up. There you go, we got the Spin Fruit. Moving on to our third fight style. Again, let's consult the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay, next up is, I think it's the Dead Step. This is one of my favorite fight style. Okay, so how do you get it? You need to defeat Awakened Ice Admiral and pray that he will drop what they call that, the library key. Yes, there you go. As you can see, this is a clip of one of my accounts. I got the library key and you need to open the library and you will see an NPC. Requirements, you need the dark step to have 400 mastery and 2.5 million bellies plus 5,000 fragments. Okay, so let's try this fight style. So first again, the M1 initial damage, 1,503. Good thing, M1, you will stay in place. There you go. It has also four skills. So guys, for the V skill of this uh, fight style, it will increase the damage of all the skills, including the M1. Okay, so let's test the damage. Let's activate the Devil's Flames, the V skill. And we're gonna start with the X skill. There you go. Next is the C skill. 
Okay, and then Z skill. Ah, slow hands. One more time, guys. There you go. Okay, Z skill. Total damage is ten thousand eight hundred ninety-five. M1 with Devil Flames has a damage of 1,654. Not bad from the initial damage of 1,503. Guys, for the Z skill, I don't suggest that you use it because it will launch you forward. And again, if you don't focus it properly or aim it properly, it will waste time. Okay? Okay, so that's it for the death step for the fruit. Hmm. Oh, we got the killer fruit. What a waste. <laughs> okay, guys, so next fight style i won't let the wheel of fortune decide i will save the best for last so now let's settle for the dragon talon that is located in the haunted castle so how do you get it guys you need to obtain the fire essence this one's really hard to get for me guys huh? so you need to get it from the death king you need bones okay and after that after you get the fire essence you need to head to use off there you go other requirements you need mastery on dragon breath 3 million bellies and 5,000 fragments. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go, guys. So, talking about the M1, the damage is quite high 1,729. But the M1, if you click it, it will launch you forward, which is again a no no. Check this out, guys. I wasted lots of time trying to use M1 left click on the core. I kept on spinning, 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 wasting lots of time. <laughs> How about the skill damage? Guys, if we have uh, not so good M1, left clicks with the Dragon Talon here, guys. For the skill, the damage is 12,000. The highest so far. So if you want to use M1, just stay on top of the core. There you go. You will launch forward, but using Shift Lock will make things easier. Okay. So far, this has the highest M1 left click, right? And uh, skill, total damage. So how about the final fight style okay the newest one yes i know the god human guys that's very hard to acquire compared to other fight styles in the list so let's check it out guys oh by the way what fruit will we get here oh we got the falcon fruit wow <laughs> anyway guys for our final fight style this fight style is not easy to get so i have a full video of that I will put the link in the description or check the upper right side of the screen. Okay, so here is the location. There you go. In the floating turtle. Are you excited to find out if this fight cell is really good for factory grinding? Okay, so let's start. First, again, let's focus on the M1. Damage is 1,654. Continuous M1 left clicks. Don't worry guys, you will stay in one place. And I think this fight cell has the fastest M1 so far. Correct me if I'm wrong. For the skills, there you go. Guys, I have a bad news. You can use your Z skill. Not bad. Let's check the damage. There you go, 4,000. You can use the X skill. Tap only, guys. Tap. There you go, 3,000. Because if you hold it, there is no damage. No! For the C skill, guys, no damage. No! So, all in all, you can only use the Z skill and the X skill tap for this fight style for a total of 7,235 damage. So, if you're gonna do factory grinding using this fight style, I don't suggest. <laughs> so, guys, before I end this video, I have a question. Should I make a V1 fight style factory grinding or all legendary swords? Please comment it in the comment section or maybe the gun, right? I haven't finished the gun yet so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom gamer nom out